We're joined now by Senator Amy Klobuchar of Minnesota. She is the top Democrat on the Senate Rules Committee and a member of the Judiciary Committee. Senator, good morning. Uh, yesterday, you. you must have had gone through a terrifying day yesterday. I can only imagine what it was like. Can you describe uh, what you saw as events unfolded on the floor? You know, when I hear that, I was not thinking of how it was terrifying for myself, not once. I think it's terrifying for our country and for our democracy that uh, we have a president who doesn't have much longer in office, but a president who literally incited this, who'd been inciting it for months. Mm -hmm. And he basically sent his supporters down the mall and they marched right into that Capitol. And I was uh, one of the leaders in leading the debate. I had just finished an argument uh, re asking people, our members, to reject what Senator Cruz was trying to do, uh, which was to claim fraud uh, with regard to the state of Arizona. I think one or two other people spoke, and then we were told there was a breach in the Capitol, and we were taken to another room, and we spent the afternoon um, together, which was, by the way, I think a good thing watching this on TV because yeah. uh, in the end, uh, democracy prevailed and we won. I think 93 senators uh, rejected uh, this scurrilous argument that there had been fraud in the election. So were you only aware of what was happening within the Capitol by watching it on television? Pretty much. I was, of course, in contact with uh, my staff. Um, and mostly our goal, my goal, was to get back to where we were, knowing that people, I mean, there were literally protesters had taken over the dais in the Senate. Uh, people were rummaging through desks. But we wanted to get back in there. Why? We were very aware uh, that, as you point out, it wasn't since 1814, I think Tony just suggested, uh, that our capital had been taken over like this, that time by a foreign, uh, a foreign force. And we had to get back in there to show the American people that as horrific as this was, that the government was still functioning and we were going to finish our work and that we were going to get those votes counted and make very clear uh, that Joe Biden was going to be the next president of the United States. I know, Senator Klobuchar, as, as jarring as it was, it was very, uh, I have to say, gratifying to see you all come back in and you made the final declaration that Joe Biden was, in fact, going to be president, as we all knew uh, for quite some time now. It was great to see it at 339. But, yeah, you know, I was there. I'm reading I know, that I was out. watching you. I was watching you. But now there is discussion among uh, President Trump's cabinet of invoking the 25th Amendment. I'm wondering your thoughts on that. Do you think that's necessary, and would you support it? Um, well, first of all, make clear, I supported impeaching this president uh, because of his violation, what I believe has been a violation of the law uh, many, many times, uh, including with what uh, he just did now. Uh, the 25th Amendment uh, doesn't as much involve me, it could eventually, but it involves his own cabinet. You'd have to have a majority of the cabinet, vice president, uh, joining in uh, to remove him. And that is going to be up to them. And I think so much of this depends I, on... I know it involves them, but would you support that? Are you someone that would say, now is the time? I was making clear, Gail, I supported impeaching him, removing him from office. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just being realistic about what's going to happen here. But they had better be ready to do that if this continues, because you cannot have a president basically leading an insurrection mm -hmm. against our own country's government. Do you that think that maybe for the first time, Senator Klobuchar, that maybe even his staunchest allies have said enough? Even Senator Graham, I wonder if you had a chance to talk to him, said, oh. count me out, yeah. enough is enough. Uh, Joe Biden yeah. said yesterday, step up, Mr. President, and condemn this. America, stand up. Do you think that finally, maybe this is a tipping point, that something will be done with President Trump? <laughs> I think it is a tipping point for these people that have stood by him for way too long, yeah. allowed him to go after people, divide people. And they were finally, last night, when I think they saw the fruits of everything they had done and all of the enabling, literally invading uh, the temple of our democracy, desecrating it mm -hmm. right in front of their eyes. And that seemed to have flipped a, sh a switch. Yeah. So what does that lead to, Gail? I don't know, because we only have a few weeks here, literally less than that, before That's Joe and Kamala are yeah, inaugurated. 13 days. 13 days, Senator. 13 days. And, and, and my I, question is, are you... I'm counting down myself, 13 yeah. days. We've got, we've got an inauguration in 13 days. The president is still in the White House. He's still saying the election was rigged. 
Are you concerned about security in Washington? And are you concerned about security at the inauguration? You're part of the inaugur planning the inauguration. Uh, of course I am, but I also know uh, that what happened there was clearly a breach of planning, which led to a breach of security. Um, there's going to have to be major, major reviews of what happened and changes made. The inauguration, I would very much hope major changes there in terms of beefing up security. I will say that is an event that they are used to having major security at, National Guard at, um, all kinds of uh, security measures that have been taken every four years time and time again. Um, so they must be prepared for that. But what was going on here is they had, yes, an event that usually goes along with little historical uh, note and no fanfare, the counting of these ballots, but they knew on social media yes. uh, that the yeah. president yeah. had been whipping people up. They knew yeah. it. Senator so, Klobuchar, you know, a lot mm -hmm. of people asking a lot of questions today that are in need of some answers. We thank you very yes. much. It was good to see you, you conducting the people's business early this morning. Thank you. Thank that you for that. Thank you.